Welcome to Four Oak Street. Just thought I would uh, take you through some of my uh, all my technique for building this road, uh, connecting the two bridges. So you can see here, looking down, um, I'm not in a balloon or an airship, <laughs> but um, I've got the camera on a stand. So you can see the green line that's sort of headed towards the other bridge so what I'll do is I'll uh, just nip over to the other side so um, basically what I've done um, I like to try and get a uh, fairly I suppose, suppose smooth <laughs> transitions in the curves um, so what I've used, I've actually used this uh, green tape which is uh, about just over 2, I think it's 2.5 mil. They describe it as like fine line tape that they use in spray painting. So the great thing about this tape is that you can, as you start to put it on, you can actually start to curve it with your finger and you can get reasonable curves. So what I've done here is, I've basically um, lined it all up, um, how, how I, the transitions from the two bridges, and then I've run that line um, in a smooth sort of a way. So I actually, initially I had it coming further straight, but that left a fairly tight bend over the bridge. And with this being sort of a, a fairly main road coming from the high street, I wanted a uh, more of a smoother bend. Um, so once I've got that in place, um, I've worked out the uh, my road is for just over 48 mil wide, which is what I've been using on the other roads. Obviously, for lanes and that, they'd be less. So what I then do is I've calculated the green strip is 2.5. So if I set this vernier gauge at 26.5, that means I've got approximately 24 mil um, either side. So then all I then do is, as I go, I just get my pencil and follow the green line, make a series of dots, and then join the dots, as you can see here. So once I've got the, uh, the dots joined and I'm happy with it and it looks about right, then I just uh, transfer this template onto uh, my 3mm MDF um, and then um, jigsaw it. And um, then it's just a question then of negotiating, um, I suppose, the join in the baseboard, which unfortunately is going to be quite wide due to the angle. So um, what I will do is either side of the actual join, I'll support it with, uh, with wood that I can actually glue it to. So that'll mean it's um, a perfect join. Um, and that's pretty much it. So the idea is once I've got this in place, then I will start then to work out the topography, if you like, of then how I get a road maybe coming up here um, towards the church probably a few houses here possibly raised um, and uh, coming into that church area with uh, lots of trees potentially and also integrating the um, the road that goes uh, down the side there which will probably be a, a, a t-junction I'm guessing so uh, that's what I thought I would share. Until then, see you on the next episode. Bye.